Hi guys, I uh, just want to do another quick tutorial here just to show you how quickly we can change these icons because the previous video went into a bit more detail about the software to use and, and all the different resources that we're supplying with the theme but I just want to show you how quickly we can change this icon here using all the tools that we've given you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our folder structure here I'm going to go to resources, SVG tutorials, do the icons into the linear complete icons that we're supplying with the theme uh, I'm going to go into basic and I've, I've already pre-selected an icon here that I want to use so it's a, a, a notebook and pen basing it around documentation so I'm going to open that up in Illustrator so I'll just uh, reduce this window here just move that up to there and then once we've got the icon that we want to use we can go and get our template so template.svg so if we open that up in Illustrator there you can see we've got the template so we can zoom in here as as, as as high as we want so I'm going to select everything in the icon that I want to use copy that so edit copy uh, and then I'm going to go here I'm just going to move this to the side just so I can get the style from it later paste that into into there so sorry I'll, I'll use the, uh, the menu again so I'll just paste and then we're going to reduce that down so that we get it into the center of the actual area of the document so we'll put that there so I've got that selected now so I'm just going to use my pipette tool here so I can click on this stroke and color here and it, and it brings that up to match the style of the previous icons that we're going to use so I can delete that now so the same as, as we mentioned in the previous tutorial this is going to be a white colored icon so now I've got my style with that I'm just going to select it again click on the color selector and change it to white so we've got our white um, icon there ready to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go file and then save as so we see this bring it up here and I'm just gonna I mean I mean again we do not need to resave this this document so if I just call that template one.svg and then if we save click save what we're actually trying to achieve here is just to get the code so if we click on SVG code it brings it up here in our in basic text editor and again we only want to select, so I'll just make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see we only want to select the SVG part of the code so if I copy that now, so I've just copied that text and then we can close that window down we can actually close this down and we don't need to save it because we've, we've copied the code and we can close that down and we don't need to save anything from that so now we've got the text, we've, we've copied that SVG code and that's hanging on the clipboard uh, we just need to go to the plugins go to enliven them animator and then we're going to double click on the animator and that'll bring up the editor so we've pasted in the source code that we copied from the text file we're going to go proceed and then in here we've got an icon but again because it's white uh, we don't want it to be responsive viewport shift again we're going to go one half so then the first thing we need to do is select the first part of this so you can see as I hover over it it shows the different areas so click on polygon I'm going to go draw lines so again here duration we're going to set that to 2000 I'll leave it as blue again at the moment so you can see what it's actually doing there and I'll just up the weight of that stroke so if I click play there you can see it draws the pen again if I draw lines there it keeps the same settings and you can see now it's starting to draw the different parts but instead of going through and changing all these from blue to white I'm going to change that to white now click off change that to white click off and then here all we need to do is click draw lines and we know we're getting the right settings here because we've already tested them on the previous uh, piece of this uh, vector art that we that we're using here for the SVG so I'll just finish these lines off here and then once we're done So we've got the full SVG there, so we can just click straight onto the result. So again, it's put, it's put all the, the relevant code and the animation in there. So I'm selecting all that text within there, and I'm just copying that text. So I'll copy that text. And then I'm then going to open up um, a text edit file, a brand new text edit file, so a new document. And we're going to paste that in there. So that's going into a, a text document. We've pasted it in. And all we're going to do now is save that, and we're going to save it to our desktop. Oops, let's get that set for that onto the desktop and I'm going to call it document document icon animated 
make sure we get the extension on there so that it they know it uh, the, that it knows it's an SVG and I'm gonna save that now. So I use that SVG so I can close that down so we can see here that we've got the SVG ready to use. So now I'm already logged into the WordPress theme so I'm going to uh, go to this area of the page so if I scroll down here and then if we click on the CMS single fancy box the bottom one that we want to edit click on the fancy icon settings and then if we get rid of that original SVG that we had there we're gonna click on there again so that we can upload a new uh, the new SVG We'll just upload that into there. We can see there that's that's ready for us to use. Set the image, and then once that's in there, again all you need to check is that on the template tab, we have the SVG animation is set to yes. So click save. We're going to update that page, and then just again just to keep an eye on this when we reload the page and scroll down. So if we just uh, reload that page now, so there we go, the page is loaded. So if we scroll down the page now, and we get to the area that we've just animated, there you can see we've got the nice documentation that, that animated in there. So again, really quick to create these um, icons with the files that we've supplied. Um, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us or use the forums and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.